turn this down here. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joe. My call is Victor Echo 1. Bravo Whiskey Victor. What we're looking at this evening is just a quick update on another project that I've been working with. And uh, I just finished installing the new display. That's the Nexian display into a uh, UBIDX transceiver. Uh, the UBIDX transceiver is basically uh, in an um, old Radio Shack scanner. I just gutted it out and uh, I built the uh, the UBEX inside. Uh, earlier, this had a um, two-line LCD type display. I changed it to a four-line LCD display, and then after um, playing around with this for a while, which is the Nexian, in this case it's a 3.2, the enhanced version. Um, Nexian display. Now, what's unique about the Nexian display? is that it has its own microcontroller uh, it's got its own uh, processor um, which is faster uh, than the uh, the nano and so it can uh, do high resolution graphics um, and anything that it's doing is taking no processing power away from the Arduino so that's the uh, the real beauty of it in that um, you can program it make graphics, uh, you can use the Nexion editor which works very well and you can test it and, and do all kinds of things like that before you actually um, ha even have to turn it on or plug it in because the uh, editor will actually allow you to simulate the uh, the running of it. This program is uh, produced by uh, Dr. Ian Lee his call is K Delta Charlie Echo Charlie KD8 CEC and uh, we're currently just doing a testing here, so hopefully in the next uh, while he will actually release the, uh, the copy for the general public. Right now we're doing some testing. So let's just look at uh, some of the features. So we'll spin around a bit, just see what's around. This is uh, 40 meters there. I'll just turn that down just for a second. It's got a few stations on. Um, nothing unusual here, just your volume control, your RF, VFO. Uh, these are various buttons for band up, band down, single sideband, SDR mode, and the VFO. But they can be programmed whatever you wish with uh, uh, his software. We're highlighting mostly on uh, the uh, KD8 uh, Nexian, Nexian display uh, firmware here. So. Let's have a quick look. Let's see if I can get here a little bit closer. Uh, you're seeing bluish here, but that's uh, for some reason not what my camera is showing, but actually it's a black background. But of course that's changeable anyway. At the top you've got your various buttons. This stops all transmissions. It's touch control. I'm using a little uh, stylus here because it's uh, keep my fingers out of the way. You can choose between VFO and VFOB. You can go up or down the bend. Um, you can choose your lower sideband. You can lock the front panel. That way there you can the VFO won't move around anymore and that sort of stuff. The speak here is normal. If you put it into the SDR mode, uh, you can use the RTL uh, dongle with it to act like a SDR radio. Of course your VFO, your current VFO, and your alternate VFO, in this case uh, VFO here is A and this is Bravo. We have split. Let me move here a little closer. Uh, there we go. So we have a split. We have the RIT with the uh, IF where you can move it back and forth and we have the attenuation here. So uh, you can do it different ways but you can actually just grab it here and drag it back and forth and that'll uh, offset. Let's see what that sounds like. It'll be quite bassy. So I'll put it at 130. So I'll turn it back down again. And you can do the same thing with the attenuation. Uh, the difference on the attenuation here, again, you can drag it if you want back and forth. 
um, it'll put it on the part of the bandwidth that you like. So you, it, uh, by moving it off to the side, it decreases the uh, the signal strength. So that works quite well. And um, okay, I'm going to get a little bit at a different angle here. There we go. Um, I don't have the S meter hooked up, but you have an S meter, and then you have a spectrum here that's going up and down normally with the strength of the signals. This is your um, CW information. And if you hit that area, you can go to the secondary screen, uh, which is for future use. Uh, I'll just go back here. Uh, but if you hit anywhere else, you can go into the, uh, the different tuning. This represents something that the HRD, if you're familiar with that program at all, uh, what it looks like. And so you have full adjustable um, back and forth here. Um, you can set your uh, particular band here that you want. You can see that's uh, 160, 80, 40, etc. And that's as simple as uh, going over here, cause it to be red here. So if I hit that, you see it went to 3.5. You also, if you leave it, you see the, the normal number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, if you enter a frequency, uh, it'll um, and hit enter, and then you'll see that pop up. And then you can also tune just by um, hitting the bottom of this or the up of any one of the digits. So it's a real nice way of, uh, of tuning around as well. And uh, you can do your sidebands, your modes, whatever. So I'll just um, bring this back home. You can see the signal strength meter, even though it's not accurate at the moment. So I'm just going to uh, change over to the next, go to the 40 meter band. And we'll just have a little look around here and listen to it. Turn the RF gain down here a little bit. Sit. A lot of strong stations here. Look a little bit. Also a real-time clock there, which I haven't set at the moment. I'm just waiting to get a battery. This version has a battery, so it'll... Uh, It'll maintain your real-time clock. Transceiver works very well. Good receive. Nice uh, transmit audio. Very pleased with it. Okay, let's just drop down to, uh, let's say, um, well, look, look at the bands here. I'm just hitting the button here on the, uh, the UBED X. Tune's very nice. And I'm on the 100. And of course, there's this regular sub menu here as well. Let me turn this down here. If I hold this down right now, uh, I can change the step tuning to, say, 500. If I um, just push the VFO and quarter down once, I get the regular menu uh, underneath to turn these things on. So I can actually turn um, the attenuation on, and I can adjust it. And you'll see it on the right here, move back and forth. See it moving? There you go. Uh, but you can do it also by that instead of just dragging across. So I'll put that back to where it was. It'll disappear in the background. And let's just look, have a quick look here. I'm tuning at the 500 rate right now. Let's see if there's any on. Pretty quiet, actually. But 
But it is around the, almost midnight here right now. Oh, Friday night, very quiet. Okay, not much happening there. I think you get the idea. Just turn this down here again. Again, it's the uh, Micro Bit X with a uh, Nexion 3.8 uh, enhanced version uh, display, uh, an intelligent display because it has all the programming capability. The firmware created by uh, Dr. Ian Lee, KD8CEC, and uh, hopefully uh, to be released to general release or general usage here sometime in the not too uh, distant future. That's we uh, basic testing is finished here. But it really uh, adds to your um, functionality and has a great professional uh, look to any rig. 7.3s, you have a good one from VE1BWV.